Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12, including topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida ang agham. Saan na form ang pollen grains? Pollen grains are formed in the lobes of the anther. The sperm of a flower is contained in the pollen grains. This video is our second video all about the sexual reproduction in flowering plants. Pag-uusapan natin dito ang tungkol sa formation of sperm. Nafoform ang pollen grains sa loob ng lobes ng anther. Each lobe has pollen sacs. Sa loob ng pollen sacs, meron tayong mga cells which differentiates to form a microspore mother cell. Tandaan nyo, kapag may mother cell na word, it is diploid. It has two sets, two N. This is one microspore mother cell. A microspore mother cell undergoes meiosis. Background natin sa meiosis. From one mother cell, it produces four haploid, isang set lang, or N na daughter cells. So, yung ating isang microspore mother cell forms four haploid microspores. So, nakikita niyo naman sa picture, yung isa natin na green, meron na siyang apat na nuclei after meiosis. Each of the haploid microspore o each sa mga color blue na nasa picture undergoes mitosis. Quick background sa mitosis, mitosis produces two daughter cells containing the same amount of chromosomes or genetic material with the parent cell. In this case, ang parent cell ay ang haploid microspore. After mitosis, it produces two nuclei, which are also haploid, just like the parent cell. So, our haploid microspore is now called the male gametophyte, and it contains two nuclei. One nucleus is the microspore nucleus, which remains as the nucleus of the male gametophyte, and another one, the generative nucleus, develops into a new cell. Ang microspore nucleus at ang generative nucleus ay nasa loob ng pollen grain. So, a pollen grain is actually the male gametophyte, which contains the microspore nucleus and the generative nucleus, or more accurately, the generative cell. Pero wala pa tayong sperm cell na nafoform. Sang stage ba nafoform ang sperm cell ng flowering plants? The pollen as it is does not form the sperm cells. Instead, the sperm is produced during double fertilization. What is double fertilization? We will find out on our next video, which is the last video all about the sexual reproduction in flowering plants. Before we end this short video, let's have a quick recap first. In this video, we discuss about the formation of sperm in flowering plants. First step, sa pollen sacs, meron tayong microspore mother cell, which undergoes meiosis to produce haploid microspores. And then this haploid microspores undergoes mitosis to produce two nuclei. One stays in the microspore as the microspore nucleus and another one becomes the generative cell. That ends our Shensha Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!